Solo Traveler here. I have not been traveling for a while. As I record this, it is mid-February 2023. I came back from my um, September Disney World trip and then I went out on a uh, TV show and uh, now I've just been back um, working and uh, not traveling. So one of the things that I did recently was I was going through some of my gear and I found a piece, a couple pieces of gear that I had purchased when I bought my GoPro 10. And I didn't use it. So I'm going to do a gear comparison, which I have not done in a while. Before I get going, I'd just like to take this moment to ask you to please like this video and subscribe. I'm uh, building my subscriber base, which is kind of nice, and getting a lot more views. So for those of you that have done it, thank you. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, consider it. Will you? When I bought the GoPro 10, I also picked up this Ulanzi cage. Now this cage has a little spot for the um, GoPro mic adapter. It's got some uh, of these uh, cold shoe adapters. It also has a nice spot for various filters. <clears throat> so now it's time for me to do a little comparison between the Media Mod and this Ulanzi cage. Now, this is just plastic. It's not a. It's not a uh, metal or aluminum cage, but it seems pretty sturdy. There's a couple things that I really like about it. So the camera just easily fits right in here. Close this up. It's got a little lock right here on top and then you close up this door right here <clears throat> now I can take the mic the GoPro mic adapter and just slide this right in It's terribly easy but there we go and this just slides right in here it fits pretty snug and then of course you can plug this in the mic in right there it's got a little opening for it now I have this little um, shotgun mic D4 Mini, and this fits right into this cold shoe pretty easily. Just slide it on in. Yikes, I'm about to drop it here. There we go, this slides right in. And just tighten it down. There we go, just like that. And then, of course, this just plugs in right here. So this is a pretty good little setup here. Um, I don't have any filters at the moment, but uh, I, could, I can put uh, various filters on here. 
Now here's something that I really like about this as opposed to the media mod, and that is the little door here. So if I need to switch out the battery, or if I need to use the Volta to charge up the phone, the phone, the GoPro, all I need to do is unplug this, and this opens up, and I can get at the battery, and I can get at the media really easily. Let me show you what you have to do with the media mod. Here is the 10 in the media mod. And here's the problem. There, there, there's a couple of problems with this as far as versatility goes. So uh, the first thing is, is take a look at this connector here. It is really difficult to get your fingers in there. There's a little notch in the connector, in the media mod, but it's just, it's very difficult to undo. Well, the sound quality is, is pretty good, and I like that it's so, everything is all compact. The mic is right here. Um, everything is just really, it's, it's compact, and I really like that. I also like that you've got your, your connectors back here. So you can flip this around and plug in right there. All that's really nice and really compact. <clears throat> but let's say you need to switch out the battery. Well, you can't do it. You cannot get at the battery. And when you open this up, that's not where the battery is. So you have to turn it off. Turn it off. Of course, you have to turn it off. Now, you've got to undo this. And like I said, it's not easy to do. So assuming that you're out, <clears throat> you know, doing some vlogging or whatever you're doing, you got to pull this off. This, you know, you got to stick this in your pocket. This comes out, you gotta stick this in your pocket. And then, of course, with this, you gotta now close these. Then open, and then pull the whole thing out, and now you can get at the battery. Um, not convenient at all. Switch out your battery. This goes in. It's just not... And since these things are... I also have a problem with these sometimes. So it just is not as convenient. Uh, forget it. It's not terribly convenient. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna do a little comparison with this mic and the, the media mod. a little more discreet and with the media mod it allows me to keep this in my pocket until I'm ready to shoot so you don't really see it but with the Yuanzi I don't really have that 
that luxury. I can't just hide this in my pocket. It's just too big. And I certainly do make more of a spectacle of myself when I'm using the Ulanzi than I do using the Media Mod. And of course, using both of them at the same time is really creating a spectacle. But of course, the main thing is, is I don't, I have to carry it. I can't just put it in my pocket. And that creates a bit of an issue for me. I don't particularly like having to carry this thing around all the time. What better place to test the microphones than right here in Hollywood in front of the Chinese theater. So I have both cameras going. They're both at about arm's length. And uh, I'm in a pretty busy area here. A lot of people around. So right now this is the media mod. This is what it sounds like. And then right here is the uh, shotgun mic. The deity. So we're gonna just keep up doing this little test, see what it sounds like. A lot of people out, traffic. We got a helicopter overhead. So we've got plenty of uh, ambient audio to test. The uh, media mod and the deity shotgun mic sort of both going right at the uh, helicopter. It's right there behind me. Actually, it's not behind me anymore. It's all over the place. So this is a good, uh, I think we got a pretty good test of the two different microphones. I'm gonna walk down uh, Hollywood Boulevard a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting some, uh, some looks, which is okay. I got two cameras going. Once again, the media mod. This is what it sounds like. And the deity mic, that's what this one sounds like. As I head down Hollywood Boulevard past the Chinese theater. I'll walk up a little bit. I'm gonna see the uh, El Capitan up here. So we got a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff. A lot of noise, a lot of people talking, a lot of traffic. Of course, here's the uh, Dolby Theater right behind me. And then right across the street from the Dolby Theater is the uh, El Capitan Theater. And right down the street there is where Jimmy Kimmel's theater is. A lot of noise. Sort of bouncing back and forth here between the uh, media mod and the deity and the media mod. So that's what these two mics sound like in a pretty loud environment. Now we're going to try a little experiment. I'm a little further away from Hollywood, from the Chinese theater. We got the uh, Scientology building right here. So this is with the microphone facing away from me. And of course, over here is the GoPro. This is the media mod. This is what it sounds like facing away from me. And this is what the deity sounds like facing away from me. Oh, I guess it's Taco Bell. This is pretty new to me. So obviously, well, not obviously, I don't know, I can't hear it. But there's going to be a difference here between the media mod, and we got some wind going, and the deity, which we're doing in the wind, and I'm not, I don't have the, uh, you have the, more of the dead cat on it. So 
actually think I'm gonna make a run across the street here in the wind. See how this sounds. So we're sort of popping back and forth. The deity and the media mod facing away from me. Okay, so now I've switched the microphone to a, so it's facing me. So I can do the uh, narration. It doesn't really take that long to switch it. There's Musso and Frank's closed on uh, Monday and Tuesday, so they're not open today. It doesn't really take that much to, uh, to switch the mic over. So this is the deity now with the mic facing me. And this is the uh, media mod. So it looks like the bottom line is, I'm not sure which is better. There are so many convenient things about the Ulanzi. Yet the Volta with the media mod is so much more compact. Not really sure on my next trip what it's gonna be. So for now, solo traveler, not traveling. Sorry, we're